At this place in history, we're in Newberry with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. What are we chatting about today? So we're going to talk about the old country fiddler, the man from Vermont, Charlie Taggart. Oh, that sounds fun. What brings us to this spot right here in particular? So we're, we're at the site of one of his homes, which was Elm Bank. Uh, when he made his name in the music and entertainment industry, he bought this house in Newberry. He liked it because he could see the Connecticut River, he could um, be right next to the depot so when he drove uh, rode on the trains back and forth from Boston to then on through the rest of the U.S. he could always make his way home. Do we know a lot about his early life and how he got into music and entertainment? We do know a fair amount about him. He wrote about his life in a Vermonter article in 1927 which was the precursor to Vermont life um, and then a later artic unpublished article from the 1940s and then there's a wonderful biography that was just written about him so I encourage anyone to go check out the biography for more information but he was he was born in Washington DC but his mother was from Topsom Vermont and uh, his father died actually right before he was born and so his mom moved back he grew up in Topsom he went to the academies around here he went to the Northfield Mount Hermon school for one year and it didn't quite work for him so he ended up coming home but he really had a love of music and he learned how to play banjo and coronet and fiddle and he realized that he could hang his shingle up metaphorically speaking and I, I suppose in reality in Topsom Town Hall hung up his shingle pay your money come see me play I can be an entertainer and so he started off doing things like classical reviews um, but soon when he was picked up by the Lyceum circuit out of Boston um, that he had this knack for voices and for telling jokes and so he really kind of became this great all-around entertainer um, and became very famous um, traveling all around the United States playing fun music on his on his fiddle and telling silly stories you know with this kind of great persona as this guy from your rural Vermont. Oh, chorus, best part of it. You can tell that chorus as soon as you hear it. Oh, yes, that goes fine. Oh, the chorus, I'm sure. And made a, a foray in a film, too, right? He absolutely did. He was in some early talkies and uh, and then recorded a, a large number of records. So did he then spend the rest of his life here? He ended up leaving uh, later on in life. His, he had kids and they they lived in other parts of the country and so he spent time in, in North Carolina and then ended up in College Station, Texas and he, and he played kind of the circuits down there. Um, ultimately ended the end of his life was in Maine. So he's actually buried in Maine. That's where his kids were living at the time. But I think always remembered as the old country fiddler and the man from Vermont. At this place in history. You're watching Local 22 News this morning. Local news that matters to Northern New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire.